More of those wretched things. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. some help. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. Don't we? I saw you on the ship, free, scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did to us caused that link. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies.
<laughs> a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. survivors. They're trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. I've seen desperation like that before. Someone's playing mind games. Just get her out! person they're trying to save. It's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. cuts through the fog of confusion. You can see the creature's hold on them wavering. As its influence wanes, they clutch their heads, blinking in confusion. Where... where are we? There was... fire in the sky and... and then... Voice. Oh, God, the voice! What happened? Gods, 
I... I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. It sounded just like my daughter, but... She's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat, just trying to get close to it. What do we do now? in your head. Please, we'll take our chances out here. Just, just leave us be. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then, the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then, its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. The monster's tentacles twitch weakly. It won't last much longer.
remains silent. regards you lifelessly. Guiding my current. Shadow fell. Tentacle grabbed me. Put me here. Put something in my eye. Door, right? What? Stop! Not another stepper up! I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you. Suddenly, you see what she sees, feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. Well, I'm not most. I respect Drow. I've no quarrel with you unless you make one. Anyway, if we've both got more pressing concerns, like these tadpoles in each of our heads. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far.
I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Well, these things have been giving me plenty of practice, but I'd rather get out of here than push my luck. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far, which really isn't saying much. Was that a threat? It was a bit toothless. You're out of your element here, I think. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I've never met a drow with a sense of humor. Perhaps we'll get along. Lead the way. A waste of perfectly good blood. A waste of... You have interesting priorities. Fresh water. 
There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. regards you lifelessly. questions. Nothing to say. Maybe even more that survived the crash. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking. You're alive. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. The very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tab pole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Hmm. 
Hmm, pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as ceramorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? I gather as much. We'll have to look for a solution elsewhere. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help, and I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes, deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. does not respond. Broken. Must have been here a while. Zoru was right. 
Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. You again. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under Elf. Blades high, Nymessa. Demaze. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe and listen. Enough gawking. Get me down. Seeping. As you say. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a creche. You will join me. Lies. Just get rid of her. A pity, that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a geich tadpole, we must report to a caretaker for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Has the error of your ways become clear? You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Fool. No point in showing a mad dog kindness. It'll still bite you in the end. You've a sharp tongue, elf. 
Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin.